Example number one, sabi dyan, a manufacturer of cellular phone batteries claims that uh, when fully charged, the mean life of his products lasts for 26 hours with a standard deviation of 5 hours. Mr. DG, a regular distributor, randomly picked and tested 35 of the batteries. His test showed that the average life of his sample is 23 po, uh, 24.3 hours. Is there a significant difference between the average life of all the manufacturer's batteries and the average battery life of his sample? Uh, alpha is equal to 5%. Okay? So, first of all, uh, in our first example, ano, identify muna natin yung given ano, in the problem. So, ano, ano ba yung mga given? So, una na dyan, Uh, sabi dyan, the mean life of his products lasts for 26 hours. So, that is our mu, ano? So, yung mu natin, so, given. Lagay muna natin yung mga given, ano? Una, yung mu, or yung population mean, that is 26 hours. Yan. Tapos, uh, standard deviation of 5 hours. So, given yung ating sigma. Population standard deviation is 5 hours. 5 hours. Ayan. Ano pa? Randomly picked and tested 35 of the batteries. So, our sample size is 35. Okay? And then, uh, his test showed that the average life of his sample is 24.3 hours. So, yung bar X natin is uh, 24.3, ano? Yun yung ating sample mean. 24.3 hours. Tapos, yung alpha natin is 5%. Or in decimal, that is 0.05. Okay? So, ito yung mga given natin. Step 1. So, step 1, letter A na lang gamitin ko na. Step 1 is to identify the null and alternative hypothesis. So, in this problem, ano yung null hypothesis natin, mga kaibigan? Sabi dyan, ano ba sabi dyan? Is there a significant difference between the average life of all the manufacturer's batteries and the average battery of life? Battery life of his sample. So, ang nakalagay dyan, uh, significant difference. So, hindi sinabi kung yan by greater than or less than. No, hindi naman sinabi kung uh, mas mataas ba or mas mababa. Yung null hypothesis natin, mga kaibigan, is equal. Ano? So, yung uh, population mean daw ay equal daw dun sa ating given population mean, which is 26, ano? Ayan, that is our mu. Ay, that is our null hypothesis. Ano naman yung ating alternative hypothesis? Siyempre, kung ito ay equal, yung ating alternative is not equal. Not equal to 26. Okay, so that is for step 1. Step 2, uh, step 2 natin is to identify the test to be used. No? Kailangan natin malaman kung uh, Z-test ba yan or T-test. So based on our problem, ano? Uh, sigma is given. So, yung ating uh, population standard uh, deviation is given. So, uh, this is Z-test. na Z-test. Okay? Kung yan ay Z-test, uh, it is either one-tailed or two-tailed. Again, sa natin malalaman yun dun sa ating alternative hypothesis. So, lagyan, lang, lagyan ko lang ng bullet. Na. Alternative hypothesis natin is not equal. Therefore, this should be two-tailed test, na? Two-tailed. Two-tailed test. Yan. So, i-illustrate natin mamaya, no? Kung uh, ano ba ang uh, illustration <coughs> ng ating two-tailed, na? So, step three is computing or to compute for the test statistic. So, ano ba yung gagamitin nating test? Z-test. So, Z-statistic to, na? Z-statistic. Statistic. So, Z equals bar X minus mu all over sigma over square root of N. Okay? So, i-compute lang natin, ano? Sulat lang natin, ano? I, I mean, i-substitute uh, lang natin. Yung ating bar X is 24.3. So, 24.3 minus yung ating mu is 26 all over yung ating sigma is 5. No? Over Square root of n, that is 35. Square root of n. Ay, sorry. 35. Sulat na natin 35. Okay? Then, of course, using our calculator. So, ito yung calculate natin. Kita nyo ba yung calculate ko? Hindi. Uh, 
Asok ko lang yung board ko ng bagya para makita nyo yung calcio ko. Ayan. Um, ito na. 24.3 minus uh, 26 all over uh, fraction ulit. 5 over square root of 35. Ayan. So, we have negative uh, 2.01. Ayan. So, that is, that is our Z value, ano? So, ito yung itetest natin mamaya, ano? Negative 2.01. So, step 4, ano yung step 4? Ah, sorry, nabunot ko <laughs> So, ano step 4 natin? Identify the critical value, ano? So, step 4, letter D na lang. Kasya ba dito? Ayan. Dito na lang. Letter D is to identify the critical value. So, again, sa critical value, alamin natin kung anong test yung ginamit natin. Uh, we use Z test, no? So, dito... Ang kukuhanin natin ay ang kukuhanan ay ang ating Z table. Alright? Z table. So, anong gagawin natin para makuha yung ating critical value? Uh, alamin natin yung ating alpha or yung ating level of significance which is 5% or 0.05. Ano? So, yung alpha natin dito is 0.05. So, alam natin in illustration, ano? Doon sa ating... Uh, curve, ano? So, ito yung ating curve. Let's say, yan yung curve natin, ano? Yung uh, 0.05 na to ay nandito. Since two tail tayo, di ba? Two tail test. So, dalawa yung ating shaded region. Dun sa dalawang tail niya. So, ito, saka ito. Ito yung 0.05, etong dalawa na to. Since uh, hinahati natin sa dalawa, yung ating 0.05, so, di-divide natin to sa 2, we have alpha over 2, ano? And that is 0.05 divided by 2, We have 0.025. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay uh, 0.025. Ah, sorry. Ito to. Itong area na to. Itong area na to is 0.025. Uh, ito ring area na to is 0.025. So, yun lang ibig sabihin ng alpha over 2 natin na yun. Kasi yung whole area natin is 0.05. So, hinati sa dalawa yon. Ngayon, nahanapin natin dun sa ating Z table yung area na 0.025 para ma-identify natin yung Z value dito sa dalawang boundaries na to. Okay? So, ito yung ating uh, Z table, ano? So, hanapin lang natin yung 0.025. So, by looking on our Z table, kahit iba ba ako to, kita nyo naman eh, no? O, kita nyo yan. Malinaw naman yung ating camera. So, 0.0... 2. So, ito na ay 0.0228. Ito nyo ha. 0.02 Wala, wala dito. Ano? Ay, mababa pala yung 228. <laughs> dito pala. 0.0287 0.028 uh, Ano ba ito? 281 274 Ayun. 0.0250 Ito nyo. Ito. 0.0250 So, anong Z, Z value niya? Negative 1.9 Diba? Tinutugon lang natin yon Tsaka 6, no? So, negative 1.96 Yung ating Z value for 0.025 Siyempre, ito yung uh, 0 Nandito yung negative 1.96 And of course, since uh, they are symmetrical This is just positive 1.96 Okay? So, ito ngayon yung ating illustration for the critical value. Yung conclusion natin, yung step number 5 natin, saan manggagaling? Dito. Mula dun sa ating uh, computed value ng Z. So, ano ba yung na-compute natin? Yung ating test statistic. We have negative 2.01. Ito yung ating illustration. Saan mag-fall yung negative 2.01? So, obviously, nandito yan. Ano? Kasi ito, negative 1.96. So, somewhere here, ano? Somewhere here. Dito nag-fall yung ating negative 2.01. So, as you can see, mga kaibigan, ano? Yung ating test statistic ay nag-fall dun sa shaded region. And yung shaded region natin na yun, yun yung ating tinatawag na rejection region. So, kapag nag-fall dun, yung test statistic mo, reject the null hypothesis. Okay? So, that is our conclusion ngayon, mga kaibigan. Conclusion So dito yan, lagay mo na lang dito no? uh, Since 
Sulat ko lang ano para mas maganda since uh, the test statistic or uh, oh sige since z na lang ano z para masyado kasi mahaba yung test statistic eh since z falls under uh, the rejection region under the rejection region therefore again lang natin ha therefore aha uh -huh, because yeah therefore reject the null hypothesis reject the null hypothesis null hypothesis or simply write h sub not ano nadala lang ako null hypothesis So, ano ang sabihin nun mga kaibigan? Since na-reject yung ating uh, null hypothesis, syempre, i-accept mo yung ating alternative hypothesis. Yung ating alternative hypothesis ay not equal to 26. Therefore, there is a significant difference between the average life of all the manufacturer's batteries and the average life of his sample. No? So, hindi ko na sinulat dito. Tandaan nyo na lang. Nakarecord naman yun eh. Tandaan nyo na lang. Again, Since uh, the null hypothesis has been rejected, therefore, there is a significant difference between the average life of all the manufacturer's batteries and the average life of his sample. Bakit merong difference? Kasi nga, inaccept natin yung alternative hypothesis which is not equal to 26. So, merong difference, no? Kung uh, na-accept natin yung null hypothesis, there is no difference. Ibig sabihin, equal lang. Okay? So, yun lang yun.